Welcome back to all of the students of our soon coming King, the Christ himself, Yeshua, the Christ. And please forgive me, everyone, for being late uh, tonight. Please forgive me. And we're going to go straight into um, the word of the Lord. We're not going to uh, waste another minute. And I know it's late there on the East Coast. Um, three things I need you guys to have. Number one, have the greatest weapon uh, in history, the gospel that Christ taught, the King James interpretation. Now, if you don't have the physical gospel of Christ, then it is imperative for every one of you to have the electronic version. All of you can just put, thank you so much, all of the moderators, for putting up the electronic version uh, of the word, the word of the Lord tonight. Great to see all of you. Did you guys have a great weekend? I did, very busy. Uh, have the greatest weapon in history, uh, the thought of God. If you don't have the physical King James Version, at least have the electronic version, okay? Um, just click on www.kingjames, uh, Bible Online, King James Bible Online, because we base everything, past, present, and future, on God's word. If it's not in God's word, I will not teach it. That's number one. Number two, make sure you have two to three pens. Thank you, Pastor Colleen. And number three, make sure you guys have a large notebook. We're not going to be long tonight. This is going to be maybe a two, maybe a three-part series. Actually, do you guys remember, oh my, probably going back sometime last year, and the bishop uh, did start a powerful series entitled Jeffrey Epstein, uh, A Luciferian Project Completed. Again, Jeffrey Epstein, A Luciferian Project Completed. And I felt the leading of the Lord. Thank you, Pastor Sam, to come back to this. Great to see all of you guys. We will give the shout outs near the end of tonight's class. I invite your attention tonight. Great to see all of you. Uh, continue to keep the bishop in your prayers. It's a busy time for me right now. Um, to the book of the beginnings called the Genesis, the genetics of God. Genesis chapter three, verse 15. And then as a key verse, I need every one of you to uh, matriculate over into the new covenant of St. Matthew. Uh, St. Matthew chapter 18, verse 6. Thank you, Pastor Q. Great to see all of you guys. Um, just had an opportunity to share Christ at some major events. This is revolutionary, okay? Okay. And we exalt the name of Yeshua the Christ for that, okay? Um, let's start in Genesis uh, chapter number three, verse 15. It's great to be back with you guys once again here on uh, our Global Masterclass tonight, hosted by the Holy Spirit himself uh, through the bishop. All right, uh, Genesis called the genetics of God, chapter three, verse number 15. Let's lay apostolic foundation. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head and thou shalt bruise his heel. This is the battle between two distinct kingdoms. The kingdom of the Christ, the apostolic, versus a counterfeit kingdom called Satan or Satan. Now, Matthew chapter 18, verse number six. And later, if we have time, we will go through Matthew 11 and eight and Luke 7, 25. But right now, go to Matthew 18 verse number six. Men, I'm excited tonight for the teaching of the mind of God. St. Matthew chapter 18 verse six will serve as the key verse tonight from whence we shall receive the theme this evening. 
Christ is declaring, but whoso shall offend. Now stop right there. Though we're in the Greek New Testament, but the Cyprian interpretation for offend is the term to traffic or trafficking. Now, those of you who are experts and scholars within the lexicon of language, dialect, and speech, Cyprian is a dialect of Greek, but whoso shall offend or traffic one of these little ones which believe in me, it were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck and that he were drowned in the depth of the sea. During the time of Christ, child pedophilia and child trafficking was punishable by death. And the uh, death penalty was one of drowning with a millstone around the neck of the offender. Now go back to Genesis 3.15. Now, my mind is blown tonight. And we know that the Epstein list has come out, but I'm going to add some more names of what my contact shared with me, okay? And so I got to walk a tight rope of wisdom uh, because I don't want to end up in a coffin. Do you understand? Genesis 3.15, I will put enmity between thee and the woman. Let's continue on module three, volume three of Jeffrey Epstein, a Luciferian project completed. Jeffrey Epstein, a Luciferian project completed. Heavenly Father, send forth thy truth. For thy word is the truth in Yeshua, holy name. There is an intense battle tonight, pastors, between two distinct kingdoms. The kingdom of the Christ versus the kingdom of the serpent. There is a great battle between two distinct kingdoms and two distinct territories. The territory of the apostolic versus a counterfeit territory called the new apostolic reformation. Also, there are two great distinctions between heat versus cold. The Holy Spirit spoke to me this afternoon in preparation and said that Bishop Cold does not exist. I said, repeat that again, Holy Spirit. He said, Bishop Cold does not exist because the vibration of all atomic and molecular motion is at its minimum lowest point as absolute zero. As a sign note, a brand new temperature scale was invented in order to accommodate this fact. The Kelvin scale that was created by Dr. William Thompson in 1848 published as an absolute point through thermometric scale dynamics. Cold does not exist. Speak Holy Spirit. Heat does exist because of energy 
but cold is the absence of energy. Cold is heat without energy. And heat is cold with energy. So cold does not exist because it lacks the light of energy called heat. Now, somebody may say tonight, Bishop, I feel cold. What you are really actually saying that you are feeling the absence of heat. For darkness is an illusion. Darkness is the absence of the awareness of light and the total absence of not being connected with God. From a theological standpoint, in the book of the Genesis, post for Adam, Adam walked with God in the cool of the day. Why was there a temperature in the garden? Because of Adam's fallen state. You have to remember, ladies and gentlemen, our original design, we did not have the composition called temperature. Adam was not 96.8 or 98.6. Adam was supernatural spirit. But post for Adam, where he accumulated a composition called pigmentation, and Christ cast out the legion in the gospels and transferred the legion, 6,000 demons, into the herd of swine, which is a characteristic of a pig mentation. Jeffrey Epstein, a Luciferian project completed. So temperature regulates the fallen state of a fallen body. So darkness is an illusion. Notice the first three letters, ill, which means that which is sick. Darkness lacks the awareness of the light who is the Christ himself. Ego is the absence of awareness. The awareness of what, Bishop? The awareness of you knowing who you are. As a case study point in the Gospels, in Mark and Luke, when Christ, the post-resurrected Christ, came to Peter and the rest of the 11 apostles minus Judas, and it was Peter said, we had toiled all the night and had taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. In essence, Christ was teaching Peter the understanding of catching nothingness. Nothingness to the blue pill mind represents a negativity. But in the apostolic paradigm of red pill theology, nothingness is not a negativity. Nothingness has no mass, no time, no space, no energy, no motion. 
nothingness is timelessness. So before God will allow you to catch blessing, you have to first catch the supernatural called nothingness. But here's the problem with the Simon side of Peter. He said to the apostles, the Simon side, I go a fishing. There's ego. And that ego affected, infected the other 10 apostles minus a dead Judas. We will also go with thee. So ego is the absence of awareness. It gets deeper. One family for the past 2,000 years, Pastor Flo, has caused destruction, mayhem, discombobulation, and division between races, faiths, religion, and political positioning, that family is called the Rotten Childs or the Rothschilds. For the past 2,000 years, according to the New Testament historian, Flavius Joseph. Josephus said, as he powerfully wrote in volume one of the antiquity of the Jews, that the family called the Bacharachs, that's interesting, capital B-A-C-H-A-R-A-C-H apostrophe S, Their bloodline is connected to a man by the name of Leo the Khazar, who had helped plunder Jerusalem, taking the Torah, taking not just the Torah, but our identity going back to Rome. The Torah was taken by Leo the Khazar, whose Roman auto ego name was Titus Caesar Vespasian, or Vespasianus, the son of Titus Flavius. Vespasianus the first, who reigned in Rome from 69 to 79 BCE before the common era. Leo the Khazar, or Titus Caesar, Vespasian, reigned in 79 to 89 BCE. The Vespasian bloodline quickly comes out of Turkey, Mongolia, Central China through the Han Dynasty, and will later immigrate into Rome. Jeffrey Epstein, a Luciferian project completed. Can I take my time? Are Israeli brothers and sisters I got to tell you, the Holy Spirit keeps telling me, keep teaching this, Bishop, because it has to hit home. Our beautiful Israeli brothers and sisters who are our brothers and sisters in Christ, they are jays by conversion but not Hebrew by birth. They are Israelis by conversion. Thank you, Pastor Flo. But they're not Israelites 
by birth. Every Hebrew is a J, but not every J is a Hebrew. Again, the original Hebrews were black. The original J's were black. But the Rothschild dynasty, beginning with Leo the Khazar I, attempted to destroy our identity. Let's continue the lay foundation that would take us to today of Jeffrey Epstein, a Luciferian project completed. You are 100% right, Pastor Rick, the black diaspora. The Rothschilds were originally named Bacharachs during the time of Christ, who then changed their name centuries later in 1501 to Bauer, then 76 years later in 1577, the Bowers changed their name to Rothschilds or Red Shield because they wanted to have access to the Vatican banking system. The Rothschilds had in essence ordained the royal families of Eastern, Central, and Western Europe. Let's begin with the House of Windsor. Pastor Colleen, the Holy Spirit spoke to me today and said, I need you to intermix the teaching tonight, Bishop, with the foundation of the royal families of Europe, from the information from Operation London Bridge to the past Epstein teachings that you've done. I said, yes, sir. The house of Saxe Goldberg Gotha came out of Germany beginning with the Prussian Empire. The house of Kaiser Wilhelm came up out of the Prussian Empire and later immigrated to Germany. And thirdly, the House of the Romanovs came up out of the German Prussian Empire and would immigrate centuries later to the Russian Federation. All three dynastic families, I feel an anointing from Christ, the house of Saxe Goldberg Gother, who changed that in 1917 to the house of Windsor. The house of Kaiser Wilhelm in the house of the Romanovs are all related by blood. And every dynastic family in Eastern, Central, and Western Europe's history are all related by blood through inbreeding. The Bacharachs had first created a two-tier political system Going back to the time of Christ, the Pharisees and the Sadducees and created the Sanhedrin Council. And the Bacharachs financially backed the creation of the Babylonian Talmud in the Jerusalem Talmud. And later, the bloodline of the Halvushim, H-A-L-E-V-U-S-H-I-M, the Baal Halvushim bloodline would marry into the Vilna Gaon, G-A-O-N, 
Rashi, R-A-S-H-A families, which were produced the Jaffe bloodline, J-A-F-F-E, which would eventually produce the Epsteins. The House of Sexy Goldberg Gotha had given birth to two distinct houses. The House of Windsor and the House of Hanover. Queen Elizabeth's bloodline would be connected to at least 70% of Europe's serial killers going back to the 1300s. In 1917, King George V changed the name from the House of Sexy Goldberg Gotha because he did not want to be connected to the German government during World War I. And the press of Europe was exposing this fraudulent house perpetrating as the British royal crown when in reality they are German Nazis. Allow me to use wisdom. So in 1917, the House of Saxe Goldberg Gotha, in the term Saxe, this is where you get the term Anglo Saxon or Saxony, Angola. So they steal the name of a Alkibalanite nation, Angola, and call it Anglo Saxon. So the House of Windsor are not British, but they are Prussian Germans. It gets deeper. Jeffrey Epstein and Luciferian Project completed. The bloodline of the House of Windsor today are both Germanic and Prussian. The Prussian Empire will then give birth to the German Empire. And both the Prussian Empire and the German Empire are extensions of the Roman Empire. The Habsburg Empire is the Austrian extension of the Roman Empire. The Bilderbergs, the Habsburgs, the House of Saxe Goldberg Gotha, and the Hanovers, which would be the House of Windsor today, are extensions of the Roman Empire. In other words, the Roman Empire did not die. It gets deeper. The United States. For America in 1776, defeated the British Empire because of taxation without representation. And then years later, through the Act of 1871, you know where I'm going with this, the United States for America became the United States of America. So America became the corporation of the British Empire. From a legal standpoint, that's why it's called the legal system taking the bar exam. We are still under a legalistic structure of the British Empire. Pope Pius IX, out of the Vatican system, had put undue pressure upon President Ulysses S. Grant along with the Rothschilds putting pressure upon President Grant to capitulate the United States sovereignty to the Rothschilds into Rome so that we become a corporation of Britain, 
and a religious child of Rome. Every dynastic family in Eastern, Central, and Western Europe are extensions of the Roman Empire. The House of Hohenzoller, H-O-H-E-N-Z-O-L-L-E-R, the House of Hohenzoller, coming out of Nuremberg, were nothing more than inbreeders. The inbred house of Saxe Goburg Gotha mixed their seed with the Hanovers coming out of the Prussian bloodline system. It's nothing more than the present day bloodline of Satan. It gets deeper. Jeffrey Epstein, a Luciferian project completed. Before the unification of Germany, between 1866 and to 1871, all 12 European royal families were of Germanic blood. The 12 royal families of Eastern, Central, and Western Europe has their origins, their originations, back to Rome through Titus Caesar Vespasian or Vespasianus or Leo the Khazar between Malachi and Matthew plundered the temple of, of God, plundered Jerusalem, took our identity, took it to Rome, and today they call themselves the chosen ones. I have to be careful. 99.9% of the Jewish people are absolutely beautiful people. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about one family, the Rothschilds. The German Confederation of 39 sovereign states created the Congress of Vienna in 1815. Now, I've got so many new students who say, Bishop, get to the point. Well, see, that's your problem. You want the jelly and the donut, but you have no knowledge how to make the dough. In order to understand the understanding of what is happening today with child trafficking and child sacrifice, we have to lay a historical background foundation of the Roman Empire. Thank you, Pastor Ali Severndetto. Jeffrey Epstein, a Luciferian project, completed stay there in the body of the text, Genesis 3.15. The royal families today are the continuation of the Roman Empire. The ancient Roman Republic still exists today in all 207 nations. There were 70 emperors in the history of the Roman Empire, 70. At the same time, there were 70 rabbinical sages who had 70 seats in the Sanhedrin with the chieftain rabbi, the 71st one, overseeing the 70, but yet there were 70 emperors of the history of the Roman Empire. The Baccarats were financially back, according to Josephus, the creation of the Book of Sanhedrin. What is the two volume set of the Book of the Sanhedrin? the Babylonian Talmud, in the Jerusalem Talmud. 
which promotes child marriage. Where an adult male can marry a three-year-old girl. Where an adult woman can marry a three-year-old boy. Don't call me an anti-Semite. It's in the Talmud. Both the Babylonian Talmud and the Jerusalem Talmud. Talmud. Listen, I'm not talking. I am not talking about the precious Israeli Jewish people. I'm talking one family, the Rothschilds. The Western Roman Empire started in Rome, Italy, and the Roman, the Western Roman Empire lasted for 1,000 years while the Eastern Roman Empire called the Byzantium Empire lasted for 1100 years. They were the first Reich. The second Reich was the Byzantium Empire. The third Reich is Nazi Germany. The Fourth Reich is BLM and Antifa, and the Fifth Reich is controlling the first four Reichs, that's the Rothschilds. I want you to hear me. There is a great distinction between Mount Zion, the apostolic, versus Zionism. Mount Zion is the body of the Christ. Mount Zion is the apostolic global body of Yeshua, the Christ. But it's not Zionism. Zionism is not apostolistical. It is not the apostolic. Zionism is built upon a system of global domination. Again, I'm not talking about the Jewish people. I'm talking one family, the Rothschilds. Through their agent, listen, Theodore Hertz, in 1897, held the first World Zionist Congress in Basel, Switzerland. Zionism has nothing to do with God's word. God's word has nothing to do with Zionism. Zionism is based upon global domination through a global system of apartheid where you're keeping 2.3 million people in the biggest open air prison in history called the Gaza Strip. This is not the fault of the Jewish citizens, Pastor Colleen. This is Rothschildism. Even the precious, our precious Jewish brothers and sisters, they don't want Zionism. They don't want this right-wing demonic government called the Netanyahu administration. So 2.3 million people being bombed. You got thousands being murdered in the West Bank and hundreds being murdered in the occupied zone of East Jerusalem. That's not apostolic. That's not Mount Zion, that is Zionism. As the side point, before the Balfour Declaration in 1917, this is not even in the notes, going back to the 19, listen, 03 Uganda scheme where well, the Western powers wanted to put the precious Israeli people in Uganda because they thought Uganda was the promised land. So that didn't work. 
Four years later, between 1907 and 1914, the Western powers put 9,300 precious Israeli citizens in Galveston, Texas. It's called the Galveston, Texas scheme, but that didn't work. Then three years later, after 1914, the Galveston, Texas scheme came to Balfour Declaration. Eastern, Central, and Western Europe was forced into the chest cavity of the Middle East. Let me say this again. Eastern, Central, and Western Europe, I'm using wisdom, was forced into the chest cavity of the Middle East. But now the chest cavity and the body of the Middle East is rejecting this artificial heart called Zionism. Jeffrey Epstein, a Luciferian project completed, say there in Genesis 3.15. The Roman Empire lasted for 1,000 years. Again, Rome had 70 rulers or emperors. The Sanhedrin Council had 70 rabbinical sages, with the 71st being the chieftain, and the Sanhedrin Council was also called the Zugots, Z-U-G-O-T-S. This is where you get the term ziggurat. Remember, capital Z U G U R A T, ziggurat. Remember the Tower of Babel in Genesis 11 and 9, 9 11? The Tower of Babel was a ziggurat, not cigarette, ziggurat, shaped like a DNA helix strand. But yet the Sanhedrin, I'm not talking about Jewish people, I'm talking Rothschilds. The Sanhedrin was also called the Zugots or the ziggurats within the Old, within the Old and New Testaments. Oh, my Lord, it gets deeper. The first emperor of Rome was Caesar Augustus, who had created the C-section. Listen, sisters. So the Censorian section was created by witches and warlocks of Rome who were posing as surgeons during the time of the Caesars. So Rome had 70 emperors in their history and 266 popes. Every single pope, black pope, gray pope, white pope, every one of them are related by blood going back to Simon Magus, the magician, and Acts 8 and also Acts 13. Simon Magus or Simon Pater, P-A-T-E-R, which is the Roman Latin term for Peter. This is how the serpent has deceived the world. You've been taught, students, that St. Peter was the first pope. That's a lie. St. Peter was martyred and crucified by Nero upside down on an upside down cross. Because St. Peter, the apostle said that I'm not worthy to die like my master, Yeshua the Christ. So as you take a cross and turn it upside down, it is shaped like two items, the keys of the kingdom of heaven given to Peter, and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. So Peter, the apostle, was never the first pope of Rome. The bones that were venerated by the history of the Catholic Church 
are not St. Peter's bones. It is the bones of a magician named Simon Magus Pater. So the first Pope of Rome for Catholics was a warlock. Jeffrey Epstein, a Luciferian project completed. So the totality of both the Western Roman Empire in Rome, 1,000 years, plus the Eastern Roman Empire, the Byzantine Empire, is the total composition of 2,100 years. Thank you, Pastor Simon. From 7th... 53, before the common era of Christ, all the way up to 1453, 1,453 years after the resurrection of Christ, is the totality of time of both the Western Roman Empire in Rome in the Eastern Roman Empire, the Byzantium Empire, which is 2,100 years. But this gets deeper because Rome did not die. So our constitution says, notice, upon the republic upon which we stand. Well, that term republic is not from God. The term republic is out of Rome. So all two and seven nations are the offspring of a 2,100-year-old father called the Roman Empire. Jeffrey Epstein, a Luciferian project completed. The first... Caesar Augustus was the first emperor of Rome. The last emperor of Rome was Romulus Augustus. Romulus, this is where you get the trends, Romulus and Remus. If you type in on Google Images, Romulus and Remus, these trends you will see are committing bestiality. That is the DNA of Rome today. Constantine the Great moved the capital of Rome, of the Roman Empire, from Rome, Italy, to the city of Byzantium in 330 after the common era of Christ and renamed the city of Byzantium of Constantinople. And the last emperor of the Eastern Roman Empire was Constantine the 11th Paleologos, P-A-L-A-I-O-L-O-G-O-S, who according to Roman myth went into the mist of the Ottoman Empire army and was lost forever. This gets deeper. A German general by the name of Odo Eiser, quickly O-D-O Acer, was the first German king of Italy. He's from the Sirai tribe, S-C-I-R-I tribe. Odu Acer of Germanic blood brought down the Roman Empire in 476 AD. This began the bloodline of what would be today the House of Windsor. It gets deeper. Odu Acer, Odu Acer, A C E R, is the son of a deco. E-D-E-K-O, whose bloodline comes from Attilia the Hun. 
Atilium Vahan. This is where you get the term Hunger Games. Hun, hunted, hunter, Hunger Games. All of the 12 European royal family's bloodline is connected through Odu Acer, a German, going back to Atelia the Hun. The House of Windsor, all royal families, there are 43 sovereign states on this earth that has the occupation of royal families. Odu Acer created the first rat line called Odessa, uh oh, capital O D E double S A. Long before students, before there was a Third Reich, long before World War II, when the Third Reich was the continuation of the rat line that Odu Acer created, Odu Acer created the original rat line called Odessa. Passageways that were later free Nazi killers and doctors and scientists as the Vatican was helping the Third Reich killers and would send them throughout the United States and Canada and South America. It gets deeper. Odu Acer, his bloodline would genetically produced centuries later, Queen Elizabeth. Atelier the Hun, now the term Hun, hunted hunter, who had then created the first Hunger Games, represents the Caucasus warrior. I'm going to say something radical. The term caucus, this is where you get the term Caucasian. I'm not saying it's, it's not evil. I'm just, te I'm not teaching black and white. I'm giving you the truth that will bring us to Jeffrey Epstein. The term caucasoid goes back to Cain. In Genesis 4, 15, remember, Pastor said, God put a mark on Cain. He set a mark. Lest any man finding him should kill him. So whiteness is not a curse. Whiteness is a protection over the body of Cain that will protect him from the elements of the weather patterns of Eastern, Central, and Western Europe. So the term Cenobark in Genesis 4.15, when you connect the word set to A to Mark, you get a Persian term, Cenobark, which means to be cockazoid or to be bleached, not as a symbol of a curse, but as a layer of protection to protect Cain, who was on the run for the murder of his brother Abel. Cain, Abel, cannibal, cannibalism, spirit cooking, Vlad the Impaler. Jeffrey Epstein, a Luciferian project completed. How many of you have heard of the terms count and countess? Let me pick up on that. Thank you, Pastor Sam, for reminding me of that. The Germanic term for Cain is blood or DNA. The Germanic interpretation for Abel 
is crypto coffin. This is where you get the term Bloods in Crips. So Bloods and Crips did not begin in Los Angeles in the early part of the late 60s, early 70s. The paradigm of the Bloods and Crips, Pyrus, which is a name of a demon in Finnish demonology, goes back at least nearly 6,000 years in Genesis chapter 4. When Cain the Blood rose up against Abel the Crip, his brother, and slew him, and after, according to the books of Adam and Eve, after Cain took out the crypt, then Cain had sodomized the crypt. Another topic for another day. Jeffrey Epstein, a Luciferian project completed. Allow the bishop to get a drink of water. Stay there in Genesis 4.15. The terms count and countess, thank you, Pastor Sippy. Long before the British Empire, the Roman Empire had ma magicians, witches, and warlocks who served as surgeons. A count, a male warlock, you remember that teaching past April, and a countess, a female warlock. Wait a minute now. So every male warlock is a female witch. Every female witch is a male warlock. A count or countess are blood agents who were practitioners a bloodletting. So the term count and countess that goes back to the Roman Empire nearly, listen, 3,000 years ago. And this is where you get the medical phrase, what is your blood count? Blood count, blood countess. So when a testing is done, what is your blood count? A blood count, a male witch, a blood countess, a female warlock, would count the pints of how much blood he or she extracted from children, adults, and seniors, even going back to the Babylonian Empire in Genesis chapter 10 during the time of Nimrod. This is where you get the term Nimrodic. The term count also means a companion. And further from Babylon to the Roman Empire, these counts and countesses were extractors of blood where they would take the blood out of their victims and then once the count or the countess would die, they will have in their will the body of the child, the adolescent, the teenager, the adult, the senior to be buried with the count or the countess this act was called the transfusion of life, but yet the American blood system has centers of blood transfusion. A transient count out of Rome, where Rome is established as a satanic state, a transgender count by the name of Vlad the Impaler. You've heard me correct. Vlad the Impaler, in the term impaling, 
means to take a rod. And what Vlad did, he would put the rod up in the backside, oh my God, of children and teenagers and adults, as Christopher Colombo did. This is called impaling. Vlad the Impaler, which the West calls Count Dracula, Draculation. So the term draconian laws is from the draconian bloodline of Vlad the Impaler, who then came up out of Transylvania. Trans, geosexual disorientation, Sylvania, according to Romanian witchcraft history, was also a transgendered witch, half male, half female. Vlad the Impaler, who came up out of Transylvania or Transylvania, out of central Romania. And the term Romania or romantic. Ah, so this is where you get the term romantic. The Holy Spirit told me to teach you, don't use the term romantic. Because the term mantic or mancy is a form of divination or sexual seduction. So Roman, Romania, romance, romantic, romantic, mancy, a sign, a symbol of a curse or divination. Like necromancy, necro is the Greek Hellenistic term for Negro, and mancy means having sex with a corpse. That's what necromancy means. And romancy also means the same thing. Whereas an individual is falling in love romantically with a corpse. We've been lied to. It gets deeper. Jeffrey Epstein, a Luciferian project, completed stater in Genesis 3.15. I'm laying the historical foundation. So Vlad the Impaler III, from the area of Central Roman, Romania, Transylvania, his bloodline would later produce King Charles who is now sitting on the British throne. Again, the students, romantic. Mantic Armada is a maritime divinational demon. Mar maritime law, Mantic Armada, A-R-M-A-D-A, -A, a maritime divinational spirit Politically means the state of play. The term Romulus and Remus, who was raised by wolves. Now notice in Google Images, if you type in Romulus, Remus, and wolf, they are under the body of a wolf. That's the paradigm of the DNA of Rome today. Getting back to older Acer, the first German king who conquered Rome, the bloodline of older Acer, Attilia the Hunt, Vlad the Impaler are all related by blood, including Genghis Khan. It gets deeper. Jeffrey Epstein, a Luciferian project completed. Stay there in Genesis 3.15. Vlad the Impaler, called Count Dracula, draconian laws that went throughout the world out of Transylvania and now have dominated Greek life to this day. 
draconian laws, Dracula, Draculate, the medical term, trachea. Wait a minute now. Count Dracula, draconian laws, Dracula, Draculate, trachea. The Dracu bloodline, D-R-A-C-U-L bloodline, of Vorde, Vorde, V-O-I, V-O-D-E of Wallachalia, W-A-L-L-A-C-H-I-A, going back to the 1400s, that would later produce Genghis Khan in the Ruri Kids. R-U-R-I-K-I-D-S, it gets deeper. Simon Mankus in Acts chapters 8 and 13, the same bloodline of Oder Acer, the same bloodline of Attilia the Hun. This is where you, you get the phrase, the Hunger Games. The bloodline of Genghis Khan and Vlad the Impaler would produce the House of Windsor. So the House of Sexy Goldberg Gotha and the House of Hanover are the genetical composition which would produce King Charles today, the House of Windsor. To the British sovereigns, stop calling yourself subjects. You are not subjugated. You were not ordained by God to be subjugated to the house of Windsor. Neither were you created by Christ to be the subjects of the British Empire, nor to be subjugated to King Charles. To my British brothers and sisters, not just in England and Scotland and Wales, but throughout the world, you were designed by God to only be subjugated to Christ. Say there in Genesis 3.15, Jeffrey Epstein, a Luciferian project completed. How then did the term London come into being? The Roman Empire created both the city of London and London, England. You have to understand, students, there is a great distinction between the city of London versus London, England. The city of London is the corporation of the Rothschild while London, England is just the metropolitan area outside of the corporation. Now, you guys, listen, you got to listen. I'm going to say this one more time. We're not talking about O.J. Simpson. Now, if you're going to remain in this class, I had to block this person. You have to concentrate. We're talking about Jeffrey Epstein, the Luciferian Project completed, and not O.J. Simpson. Say there in Genesis 3.15. So the term London is the name of many of the Roman gods called Londinium. That's interesting. L-O-N-D-I-N-I-U-M. Londinium, which was a governmental power demon or entity. As a side note, during the Treaty of 1214, can I teach? King John was controlled by the Vatican. The Vatican under Pope Innocent III had created what will be today the present flag of the British government. Now you've been taught 
uh, Londoners and those of you who are British sovereigns of Christ and not of the House of Windsor, that the flag represents Union Jack. That's a lie. The flag of the British Empire was created by the Vatican by Pope Innocent III as a form of transferring the letter X as a curse upon the British throne. There's a section in the middle of the Corporation of London called the Temple Bar. You see, Pastor Sam, demons are getting agitated. The Temple Bar, not the one in Dublin, Ireland, but the one in London, the Temple Bar. It is an oblix with a dragon on top. <clears throat> Listen, that is the only piece of real estate on this earth that's not owned by the Rothschilds, but the deed belongs to the serpent, to Satan, the temple bar. Underneath the ground of the temple bar, which the city of London had to destroy, down through the centuries, city engineers would create underground tunnels called dumbs in the form of an X underneath the temple bar for the trafficking of children. That's why the letter X is on the British flag, not representing Union Jack, but representing the schematical structure of the letter X that's underneath the ground of the temple bar that goes back centuries for the underground trafficking of children. As a sign note, Pastor Colleen sent me some powerful links. Do you guys remember recently, and thank you Pastor Colleen for sending me these links, that in Brooklyn, New York, the NYPD raided an Orthodox synagogue and found underground tunnel. And this is not against Jewish people. I want to make sure that everyone knows that. I don't want us to get a strike or be taken down. The NYPD, am I right about that, Pastor Colleen, Pastor Sam, raided this orthodox, it, as a matter of fact, Pastor Colleen, if you can put up that link that you sent me, this is to show me, see, you got to show people. The NYPD sent, am I right about that, Pastor Charity, sent not just SWAT teams, but in Crown Heights, thank you, Pastor Rebecca, in Crown Heights, and we're not saying that the orthodox or orthodox brothers and sisters knew this, but they were trying to stop the NYPD from pouring concrete in the dumbs to shut those dumbs off, and the NYPD found high chairs in the dumbs. Wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. They found high chairs. I'm not talking about Jewish people. I'm not talking about that. those orthodox, beautiful uh, Jewish of our Jewish brothers and sisters, but the NYP, it's on a video. Pastor Conley, please put that up if you find it. Where the NYPD is bringing out high chairs and mattresses. Thank you, Pastor Ali Seven. Why would there be tunnels and dumps below an orthodox synagogue with mattresses in high chairs. I got to be careful. Now, according to the ADL, one of the symbols that the Anti-Defamation League describes as a anti-Semitic symbol, Passive Flow, is a cement truck. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Pastor Colleen, if you find that, which you sent me, please put that up, Pastor Colleen. Wait a minute. One of the symbols which the ADL says 
they deem a symbol of a cement truck to be anti-Semitic. Why would the ADL do that? I, I don't understand. What, wait a minute now. So the NYPD was sending cement trucks to Crown Heights. Oh, Lord have mercy. Let me go. Listen, this is mind-blowing. Takes us to the text after one hour, 15 minutes, and seven seconds of laying foundation concerning Jeffrey Epstein, a Luciferian project completed. The NYPD, am I right about this passage? Ali Sevendetto raided a building. Let me say this. I don't want us to get a strike or be taken down, okay? And raided this building in Crown Heights and found multiple tunnels on a video But one of the symbols that the ADL, uh, Miss Tanya Parker, deems as anti-Semitic is a cement truck. Why would the ADL put that up there, God's gift? My contacts tell me in the NYPD, Bishop, the, there are raids all over New York City. I want you, there are raids, Bishop, all over New York City, not just in Crown Heads, in Brooklyn, but Queens, and Staten Island, in the Bronx, in Manhattan, all over New York City. Am I right about that, Pastor Alan Sevendetto? And all over the state. The jig is up. Now the text in Genesis 3.15. And I would put enmity. Thank you, Pastor Colleen. You see, this is the show me state. You see, Pastor Rick, we are living in a time that you have to show people. I don't blame them. Listen, you have to show right beside Pastor Colleen's name. Okay. There it is. The end. When I saw this, Pastor Colleen, it blew my mind. So I had to send it to our staff in New York and to my staff here in, in LA. They, their minds were blown. And these people, I'm not going to say who they are or what race, they were fighting against the NYPD. In the NYPD, according to my contact in the NYPD, that I know at least 16 brothers, okay? 16 brothers and one sister who works for the NYPD. They said, Bishop, Mayor, Eric Adams has given us an edict to fill all of these underground tunnels with cement. Why in Crown Heights? And why would the ADL deem a picture of a cement truck, Pastor Kobe, as anti-Semitic? I will put enmity between thee and the woman, between thy seed and her seed. Well, the woman doesn't have a seed. So Christ, his father, is his own fatherhood. So there is a war between two distinct seeds and kingdoms. The seed of the kingdom of the apostolic, the Christ, Versus a counterfeit kingdom seed called the serpent. Stay there in Genesis 3, 15. In London, the term Londonium, L-O-N-D-I-N-I-U-M, is the name of a Roman demon entity meaning the god or the goddess of governmental power. There was a secret society, ladies and gentlemen, going back to the time of Christ, which is an unknown secret society. Called the secret society called the Nognos, allow me to pronounce that, please. Capital N-O-D, 
N O L, the Nognos, during the time of Christ, also built underground tunnels throughout the land of Israel. During the time of Christ, according to the book of the Maccabees, parts one and two, and that's why the Vatican took them out, along with 44 other documents, taken out a 45 degree angle of God's mind, which it did not work. But also, the Nognos were practitioners of spirit cooking during the time of Christ, the 12 apostles, and later, the apostle St. Paul. If you take the word nodno, N-O-D-N-O-L, and rabbinically write it from right to left, students, you get the term London. Oh, my God. I feel an anointing, Pastor Conley. Wait a minute now. Notice the thir- first three letters of this secret society called nodno, nod, where Cain went to the land of nod on the east of Eden. So the city of London belongs to the Rothschilds, and there's a piece in the city of the Corporation of London as the city of London called the Temple Bar. Underneath is a massive city-wide tunnel in the form of a letter X. But that is the symbol on the flag of Great Britain that was created by Pope Innocent III and given to King John in 1214 to bring about a curse upon the British Empire, having nothing to do with Union Jack. It gets deeper. Jeffrey Epstein, a Luciferian project completed, stayed there in Genesis 3.15. And it's to my understanding, and this is mind-blowing, that uh, another link that Pastor Colleen sent me, that there are mass graves on Epstein Island. Pastor uh, Colleen, if you get an opportunity, no rush, please put up that link. There are massive graves Graves on Epstein Island. And there's also on the island of St. James, an island of the seed of the serpent, is a sundial. And there are, according to my contacts, and let me add to this, Pastor Pauline, my contacts, and that's all I'm going to say. I'm not even going to say government because I've been told Bishop, you're getting too close, so use wisdom. There are not hundreds, but thousands of mattresses inside of that building. It looks like a Greek temple of blue and white, which is the same structure that was on the st- backdrop stage of the Ellen DeGeneres show. Can can I say this again? Why would Ellen DeGeneres, I'm sorry, DeGeneres on her former show have a backdrop of the same building structure on Epstein Island? The Habsburgs, the Barcarocks, also come out of bloodlines going back to the serpent. I'm not talking about Jewish people. I'm talking one family, the Rothschilds. It gets deeper. There is a bloodline Luciferic dynasty called the House of Draculisti. The house of Draculisti. Can the apostle teach? Capital D-R-A-C-U-L-E. The Holy Spirit just rebuked me. He said, don't capitalize it, Bishop. Small D-R-A-C-U-L-E-S-T-I. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You see, the Lord rebukes me first 
before he rebukes you. The house of Draculisti of the Luciferic kingdom of Wallachia. Small W-A-L-L-A-C-H-I-A. In central Romania, where there were male and female counts and countesses whose job was to draculate blood from their victims. This is where you get the Mediterranean term, the Mediterranean term, a oh, vampire. Vam means blood. Pyre means monster. This is where you get the term vampire, blood monsters, and the term human means monsters. A lot of you made blood oaths in your childhood. In other words, you will cut your hand and allow uh, your friend to cut his or her hand, and you will put your hands together, blood the blood. Well, that's a blood curse. You got to repent of that. Vampire blood monsters, and according to the Black's Law Dictionary, dated 1935 and re edited in 1948, the term monster means human, or human means sea monster. Or that which is a Starbuck. So when you talk about Dagon, whose head was decapitated before the Ark of the Covenant, remember in 1 Samuel 5 and 1, wait a minute now. So the head of Dagon, its bust, its arms. Every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Yeshua the Christ is Lord. God told us in his word through Isaiah, my glory, I will not give nor share with another. You know, uh, listen, all of the pastors, listen. Apostle Ty, I tell people, no, don't call me no genius. Oh, no. You're not, you're not going to put a curse on me because the term genius means house pet. I'm not a house pet. In the Roman legal term, constituent means a house pet. So you were not created by Christ to be a monster human. You were not created by Christ to be a cargo youth. Neither were you created by Christ to be subjects of Rome through the house of Windsor. So the term vampire, blood monsters, transfusionists of blood. Oh, the American Blood Transfusion Society. I will put enmity between thee and the woman and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head and thou shalt bruise his heel. The seed of the woman is Christ and Christ, speak through me, Holy Spirit, came with all apostolic power through global apostolicity. And Christ destroyed the works of Satan. And he has given us that same power to destroy those same works. Greater works shall you do. That's what Christ said. So why aren't we doing the greater works? Greater works. What does that mean? I'm going to say something radical, Pastor Sippy. No, we're not greater than Christ. Christ is God himself. But what Christ was saying, not just to the 12, into the 70, into the 120 in the upper room, into 3,000 of Pentecost, and to the apostolic body today, you're going to reach more people, Bishop, because I see the age of television, movies, the internet. I see the age of cell phones where we can transfer apostolicity. See, this is apostolic freedom, not as a subject to King Charles, but you are a subjugated servant of freedom unto the Christ. 
So then in Genesis 3, 15, I will put enmity between thee and the woman. Three times 15 or 15 times three is what? 45. So Satan tried to take out a 45 degree angle out of God's word, taking out 43 documents or books through the Vatican. And now through Global Spiritual Revolution Media Group, Los Angeles, New York, we are reviving and giving back to you that 45 degree angle of God's thinking. Now keep a marker there in Genesis 3.15. Is your minds blown? Put up those faces. I double dare you. Put up those faces if your minds are blown tonight. Jeffrey Epstein. A Luciferian project completed, Marja 4, Volume 3. Keep a marker there in the body of the text of Genesis 3.15. This is a teaching global movement. Let's matriculate thousands of years later from Genesis 3.15 to 4,000 years later in Matthew 18 and 6. Ah, which is the key verse tonight. Christ declared in Matthew 18 and 6, but whosoever shall offend or traffic one of these little ones which believe in me, it were better for him that a millstone were to hang about his neck and that he were cast into the sea. So during the time of Christ, the death penalty for pedophilia was death. The death penalty for child trafficking was death. And the death penalty for even creating underground tunnels was death. Now keep a marker both in the body of the text in Genesis 3.15 and in the key a verse of Matthew 18 and 6. Now do me a favor, go stay in Matthew, but go to Matthew 11 and 8, Luke 7, 25. You can put up those scriptures for me, Pastor Colleen. Everything must be based theologically on God's word. Now, Matthew 11 and 8 and Luke 7, 25. Now, before we get deeper into Matthew 11 and 8 and Luke 7, 25, hear the man of God tonight. The house of Draculisti today is Moldova, Romania, in the bloodline of the 13 families between Rothschilds in the Lee family out of Hong Kong, Lee, capital L I. Here comes the bloodlines that I'm going to expose that Christ exposed in Matthew 11 and 8, Luke 7, 25. Allow me to get a drink of water. The house of Windsor. Its bloodline is connected to an old secret society that goes back to 1408 called the Order of the Dragon. Allow me to wipe some of the anointing off. <laughs> the Order, I love teaching, the Order of the Dragon. Remember, John talks about in Revelation that old drag on. Drag queen, listen, drag on. The Order of the Dragon. The secret society called the Flores Q, F-L-O-R-E-S-C-U, a draconian bloodline of spirit cookers that goes back to Cain and Abel. Eight point one billion people, not including you and I, 
had become eaters and digesters of their own fallen state. 8.1 billion people, excluding you and I, are eating and drinking their own fallen state, MRC5, per C6, HEK293, embryonic cell strains being digested as apple juice, I'm using wisdom, being digested in your coffee make creamers, your Lay's chips, Coca-Cola, Mountain Dew, urine, I gotta be careful, Mellow Yellow, Pepsi, all of these donuts that are sold around the United States are filled with parasites going back to MRC5 per C6, HEK293, which means human embryonic kidney cell strain 293, people are eating and drinking a liquefied substance of abortion. That's all I'm going to say because I don't want us to get a strike or be taken down. Stay there in, in Matthew 11 and 8 in Luke 7, 25. What I'm about ready to expose, Christ exposed this 2,000 years ago. Pastor Comey, all you guys, Pastor Sam, do you remember the Cleveland Street scandal of 1899 that came up in the Operation London Bridge series? My bishop, what was the Cleveland Street scandal of 1889? Make up two, Pastor Kobe. That's why one of the fallen angels was called Mascara. The other fallen angel is called Cosmetic. The Cleveland Street scandal of 1889, where it was the home on 19 Cleveland Street of a homosexual brothel that Prince Albert Victor, the oldest son of the Prince of Wales, was a part of this conspiracy. Thank you, Pastor Colleen. There's the link right beside Pastor Colleen's name. See, these are receipts. The 1889 Cleveland Street scandal, which the House of Windsor doesn't want to talk about today. Albert, Prince Albert Victor, the oldest son of the Prince of Wales, were later die of an immune deficiency syndrome called AIDS but the House of Windsor had lied to you, Londoners, told you that Prince Albert Victor died of pneumonia when in reality he died of what we call AIDS. Prince Albert Victor got cut up of the 1889 Cleveland Street scandal. It gets deeper. The year before this Cleveland Street scandal, which was in 1889, the year before that in 1888, a woman by the name of Mary Ann Nichols worked as a housekeeper at 19 Cleveland Street in London, England, but her body was decapitated and found on August 31st, 1888. It gets deeper. A second woman by the name of Amy Chapman was also employed as a housekeeper at 19 Cleveland Street, but her body was found decapitated on September 8th 1888, a third woman, Elizabeth Stride, 
S-T-R-I-D-E, a housekeeper at 19 Cleveland Street, was found mutilated on September 30th, 1888, or a year before the Cleveland Street scandal was exposed. The fourth woman by the name of Catherine Eddowes, E-D-O-W-E-S, a housekeeper at the 19th Street Cleveland brothel. Her body was found on September 30th, 1888. A fifth woman by the name of Mary Jane Kelly, a maid at the 19th Street brothel, was found dead, head cut off on November 9th, 1888, all body organs gone. There you go, Pastor Rick, uh, I-E-L-E and, and Pastor Rick. A young man, was present hanging around the Cleveland Street building the following year by the name of Aaron Kosminski, K-O-S-M-I-N-S-K-I, who owned the building at 19 Cleveland Street in 1889 in London, England. A man by the name of Leopold de Rothschild. Leopold de, D-E Rothschild, a close friend of the British family, the house of Saxe Goldberg Gotha, which would be the house of Windsor. Leo de Rothschild, a known homosexual, was close friends with Prince Victor Albert, who after the Cleveland Street scandal was exposed in 1889, was sent by the British crown to India. It gets deeper. Aaron Kosminski, K-O-S-M-I-N-S-K-I is Jack the Ripper. <laughs> wait, wait, it gets deeper. Jack the Ripper personally knew Albert Prince Albert Victor of the Royal House of Great Britain. But Kosminski was not his real last name. His real last name that goes back to Poland and to Lithuania in the mid 1700s was Sid Sid Ransky. Sid Ransky, S I D R A N S K Y. Later, that name was changed to Sandusky. Who's Sandusky? I'll come to that. Aaron Kosminski, whose real name is Sid Ransky. was hired by the crown to eliminate these five women. The question is why? Because Prince Albert Victor, the oldest son of the Prince of Wales, a known homosexual, was caught up in the brothel scam and scandal in these five women who were taken out by Jack the Ripper, who was contracted by the crown to liquidate these witnesses. 
I want you to hear me tonight. It gets deeper. Aaron Kaminsky's bloodline starts out of Poland and then immigrates to Heidelberg, Germany as the Jaffe Sofer bloodline in the early 1300s. J-A-F-F-E Sofer, S-O-F-E-R. I got the best research teams on this planet. The Jaffe Sofer bloodline in 1303, out of Heidelberg, Germany, through Abraham Ben Jaffe, and the Jaffe bloodline will later immigrate from Poland to Germany to Prague in the Czech Republic through Rabbi Moses Ben Eliezer Jaffe and Rabbi Monachi Jaffe, Baal Hel Vishim. Remember, Baal Hel Vishim. H-A-L-E-V-U-S-H-I-M, who wrote a 10-volume set of the codification of Kinsarian laws and customs of Eastern European Kinsarians. It gets deeper. The Jaffe bloodline, J-A-F-F-E, would change their name to Jaffe, J-O-F-F-E in the late 1700s through a man by the name of Ari, A-R-Y-E, Lieb, L-E-I-B-B, Jaffe, J-A-F-F-E. And later through Harav, H-A-R-A-V, Ari, A-R-Y-E-H, Lieb, L-E-I-B, Jaffe, J-O-F-F-E, when they immigrated to Lithuania in the early 1900s. The Jaffe, Jaffe bloodline, 30% of the Jaffe, Jaffe bloodline would change their name to Zidransky. And the Zidranskis, 10% of that bloodline would change their name to Kosminski. Jack the Ripper, K-O-S-M-I-N-S-K-I. It gets deeper. Aaron Dutton Zidransky would change his name to Sandusky. The Sidransky bloodline migrated during the late 1800s from the Czech Republic to the state of Tennessee. To a town by the name of Bodenham, B O D E N H A M, Ham. The Sanduskies, through Aaron Oscar Sandusky, would then grow his business as an adopter of children in the early 1900s in Pulaski, Tennessee the hometown of the birth of, of the Ku Klux Klan. It gets deeper. Jeffrey Epstein, the Luciferian Project completed. Joseph Dewey Sandusky, and through the Tennessee Sandusky bloodline, on the 26th of January, 1944, a son was born to Arthur Sandusky and Evelyn May Sandusky in Washington, Pennsylvania, 
a son by the name of Jerry Sandusky. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know if you can take this today. <laughs> Listen, you're not ready for this. Wait a minute. Jerry Sandusky, with the J, was one of the assistant coaches under Joe Paterno at Penn State University. Thank you, Pastor Colling. These are receipts. We're later create a foundation called the Second Mile which was a children's charity that he founded at State College PA at Penn State University in 1977, which the late President George H. W. Or George H. W. Bush would praise as a foundation that served as a shining example of charity work in a 1990 letter through the thousand points of light. Guess who sat on the executive board of the Second Mile Foundation until a month before the Sandusky scandal was exposed? Joe Biden, his late son, Bo Biden, Hunter Biden, Barack Obama, the actor Mark Warburg, all sat on the executive board of the Second Mile Foundation. I'm not saying that they were involved. I'm not saying that. I got to be careful. I don't want to get a strike or be taken down. But a month before the scandal broke, the scandal broke in March of 2011. The month before that, in February of 2011, Joe Biden, Hunter Biden, including James Biden, the brother of Joe Biden, resigned from the Second Mile Foundation because they knew what was coming down the pike the following month. Barack Obama spoke at Penn State University in 2008 and spoke at Penn State University for Jerry Sandusky's second mile in February of 2011, a month before the scandal broke in March 2011. This gets deeper. Jerry Sandusky was sentenced on October 9, 2012, for a 30 to 60 year prison bit for 52 counts of child molestation, which Joe Paterno covered up. The question we have to ask ourselves, did the Bidens know this? And did Obama know this? Don't give us a strike, YouTube, don't take us down. Listen, this, is one of the greatest conspiracies in American legal history. Jeffrey Epstein, a Luciferian project completed, stayed there also in Matthew 11, 8 and Luke 7, 25. Christ exposed this 2,000 years ago. Joe Paterno died. I want you to listen to me. He died two months before the scandal broke. The Jaffe, Jaffe, Sidransky, Sandusky, Kaminsky bloodline continues. 12 percent of the Sid Ransky bloodline that came out of Czech out of the Czech Republic and out of Poland and immigrated to Tennessee in the late 1800s would marry into the Epstein bloodline. It gets deep here. 
The Epstein bloodline goes back to the Russian Federation in 1666. It goes back to Peter the Great in the history of the Russian Federation, of the Russian Empire. In the 1700s, men named David Epstein, Joseph Epstein, David Epstein II, Morris Epstein, then came Julius Epstein, and Julius Epstein, who came up out of Bellstock, Poland, B-I-A-L-Y-S-T-O-K, Bellstock, Poland, and died Julius Epstein on July 16, 1944. His son, Seymour George Epstein, born December 4, 1916, listen, and died December 4, 1991. Wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. Who's Seymour George Epstein? He meets a woman by the name of Pauline Stolofsky, S-T-O-L-O-F-S-K-Y, whose father's real name is Kaminsky, which their real name is Sid Ransky. It goes back to Jack the Ripper. Wait a minute now. So Jack the Ripper is related in the same bloodline of not just the House of Windsor and Queen Elizabeth and King Charles and Prince Andrew and Prince Harry, but related to the Kosminskys Sid Ranskys, Sanduskys, Epsteins, fun for the whole family. This is a mafia of child molestators. Oh my God, this gets deeper. Jeffrey Epstein, a Luciferian project completed. Seymour George Epstein died in Cleveland, Ohio, December 4th, 1991, which they would produce a son, two sons. One of them was a young child born on January 20th, 1953, named Jeffrey Edward Epstein. Jeffrey Edward Epstein related to the Joffies, the Jofies, the Sidranskys, the Sanduskys, the Epsteins, all of them also related going back to the House of Windsor, Saxe Goldberg Gotha, the House of Hanovers. The bloodline of Vlad the Impaler III, the bloodline of Genghis Khan, the bloodline of Atelia the Hun, they're all related. Look at what Christ said. Bishop Wick is not playing. In Matthew. Chapter number 11, verse 8. For what went ye out for to see? A man clothed in soft raiment. The term soft come the Greek word, the Greek term makalos, M-A-L-A-K-O-S, which means infeminate. Stay right there in Matthew eleven eighteen. 18. Jeffrey Epstein worked for the Central Intelligence Agency. Jeffrey Epstein also worked for Israeli Mossad. Epsteins are also related to the Hawk family, 
that immigrated out of Romania in the 1400s and then immigrated out of Romania, which would be today the Czech Republic, which is another country outside of Romania, okay, in Eastern Europe. In the Czech Republic, the Hawks then changed their name in the early 1900s from Hawks to Maxwell. which would produce Sir Robert Maxwell, who was taken out, I believe, in 1991 by the Mossad with the blessing of the Central Intelligence Agency. One of his children is Ghislaine Maxwell. The Maxwells, half of the Maxwells of the Hawks, or related to a German family called the Oswalds. Y'all remember that teaching? Wait a minute, wait, wait. But 30% of the Oswalds are not the Oswalds. They're actually the Hawks through genetical inbreeding out of Bavaria, Germany. So the Oswalds related to the Hawks, Maxwell's, Epstein. Windsor, Charles, Andrew, Harry, William, Vlad the Impaler, okay? Count Dracula, Attilia the Hun, Genghis Khan, they're all related, including being related to this killer, Aaron Kaminsky, which his real name is Sid Ransky, then later was changed to Sandusky. <laughs> no one is teaching this. You see, don't follow the money. Follow the bloodline that would take you to the money that would take you to the crime. It gets deeper. Jeffrey Epstein, a Luciferian project completed. Salt raiment is infamination. And Paul said to the Corinthian Apostolic Church, no infeminate shall have any right to the kingdom of Christ. Now notice in Matthew 11 and 8, a man clothed in infeminate raiment, a man clothed in skirts, in high heels, behold, they that wear soft or emasculated clothing are in king's houses or in global governments. Now go from Matthew 11, 18 to Luke 7, 25. My Lord have mercy. So compare Matthew eleven eighteen to Luke seven twenty five. Luke seven twenty five, the master teacher, the master, the Christ. But what went ye out for to see? A man clothed in butt breaking raiment, in a skirt, in a bra. Okay. Behold, they which are gorgeously. Wait a minute now. So this term gorgeously is not in Matthew eleven eighteen 18, because in Matthew eleven eighteen 18 is one level of homosexuality and in feminism, and Luke 7, 25 is on another level where to the point you think that they are women, but in reality, they are men or males, gorgeously appareled. But the term of herald is not in Matthew 7, listen, is not in Matthew eleven eighteen. 18. In Matthew eleven eighteen, 18, soft raiment, a man clothed in soft raiment, a raiment that is only exclusive for those men trying to live as a woman. 
See, Christ is exposing the pedophilia trafficking network. So in Luke 7, 27, Christ goes to another level. Because in Luke 7, 25, Luke 7, 25, those which are gorgeously apparelled and live delicately as senators and congressmen and preachers, okay, and raptors, musicians, and influencers delicately are in king's courts or in the parliament, the congress, in the senate. So in Matthew eleven eighteen, 18, the king's house is the president, okay, the prime minister, the king and queen. But in Luke 7, 25, we go from the king's palace, okay, in Matthew eleven eighteen, 18, to the king's courts in Luke 7, 25. What is the king's courts? The British Parliament, the U.S. Senate, the U.S. Congress, your state senators, your, listen, your state representatives, your mayors. See, this global pedophilia network is exposed by Christ 2,000 years ago in Matthew eleven eighteen 18 and Luke 7, 25. Please, let's go through this again because this will absolutely blow your minds. Listen, Jeffrey Epstein, a Luciferian project completed. In Matthew 7, uh, chapter number 11, chapter 11, verse 8. But what went ye out for to see? A man clothed in soft or infeminate raiment. The term raiment doesn't mean that which is apparelled in Luke 7, 25. The term raiment in Matthew 11 and 8 means a new culture way of life. It is the new form or a new culturistic mindset of raiment. Because before they can uh, emasculate you, they have to demasculate you psychologically in Matthew 11 and 8 so they can emasculate you in Luke 7.25. Do you understand? So in Luke 7, 25, Christ exposes global governments of king's courts, parliaments, senators, the senate, the congressmen, those gorgeously apparel. They appeared to be men in public, but in private, they're having dress parties, homosexual brothels, lesbian brothels, and child trafficking parties, and live delicately are in King's Congress, King's Court, the Senate, King's Court, the Parliament. So Christ in his wisdom is exposing both the presidents, the prime ministers, the kings, the queens, the potentates around the world. First in Matthew 11, verse 18, verse 8, Matthew 11, verse 8, king's houses are those names on the parent doors list. Oh, wait, 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 wait. King's houses. Let's look at Matthew 11, verse 8. Behold, they that wear in feminine clothing, men wearing dress shoes with no socks. Men wearing dress shoes with no socks. Men pulling up, hemming up the bottom of their slacks, wearing dress shoes with no, with no socks. 
men wearing pink. What's the rapper's name? Lomnos. This is him in Matthew 11 and 8. And this is him in Luke 7, 25. Matthew 11 and 8. These people are in king's houses. Presidents, prime ministers, potentates, kings, queens. Let's read Matthew 11 and 8 in today's paradigm. In today's paradigm, paradigm. Behold, they that wear soft clothing are on the Pandora's list. They are on a part of the Pandora Papers. They are a part of the Panama Papers. They are in king's houses. Child trafficking, child pedophilia, amongst the names connected to that P.O. box in the British Virgin Islands, okay? Connected to a certain state that's bombing Gaza. I got to be careful, okay? King's houses. Your pro former prime minister of Israel, Barak, what's his name? Barak, Barak, he's a part of this mess, okay? All of your presidents, prime ministers, and of course, your kings and pre um, queens and potentates, the king's houses. These individuals are on the Pandora Papers. It's also a part of the Panama Papers. They are in King's Houses, Matthew 11 and 8. But in Luke 7, 25, these are not those in Kings, in the King's Courts of the Pandora Papers and the Panama Papers. Those in Luke 7, 25 are in king's courts, the Senate, the Congress, the Parliament, all involved in child trafficking and child pedophilia. In my conclusion, Jeffrey Epstein, a Luciferian project completed. I'm going to say something radical. Allow me to wipe some of the anointing off of my glasses. Let me ask you guys a question this evening. Is your minds blown this evening? Put up those faces if your minds are indeed blown. Those people in the Pandora paper. Matter of fact, uh, Pastor Colleen, if you still have that link that we taught some weeks ago, of those in of the the names on the Pandora Papers and those that, of the names of the Panama Papers, I, I believe the link is in red and black. If you can find that for us, Pastor Colleen, if you can, great. If you can't, don't worry about it. Those names in the Pandora Papers and those names in the Panama Papers, those names are on the Epstein list. The 150, 170 names that was released a couple of days ago, that's only 10% of all the names. Michael Jackson's name is on the list. What is the scientist's name? What's his name? Uh, he's in a wheelchair. He's passed away now. But the scientist, okay? I can't remember his name, Pastor Charity, Pastor Flo, Pastor Rick, they said the scientists, the, what's his name? Hawking, Stephen Hawking, Stephen, wait a minute, I, oh man, I don't understand. I, how is he involved in this? Zelensky's name is on the list. And as I told you last week, that those names will never be revealed to the public, but I know, okay? Morgan Freeman, his name was on the list one time. Bill Clinton went to, I believe, 
Vanity of Vogue magazine a few days ago and threatened them not to use his name, but they did anyway. Freedom of the press. Bill Clinton went down to Epstein Island 26 times. Samuel R. Jackson went down to Epstein Island. You see, these are some powerful names. It's called blackmail. In my conclusion, listen, Epstein, we are told, was actually taken out on the 10th of August, 2019, at 150 Park Row in New York City, New York, of asphyxiation. But there's a part of the camera that's missed, the part of the video that's missing that will show him taking his life. Now, my contact, Sam, I'm going to say this. I know it is going to sound crazy, not to you guys, but to the average person who is not red pill like you. Jeffrey Epstein, who's connected to Saudi intelligence. Mohammed bin Salman's name is on the Epstein list. In the house of Saud, crypto Kazarians, their names is on the Epstein list, passing LSU. And according to the FBI, Epstein's Saudi Arabian name is under the house of salt. So Epstein is not dead. Okay, let me go. He's not dead. It was staged, okay? He works for the Central Intelligence Agency. He works for Israeli Mossad, okay? But he also works for Saudi intelligence. He's not worth $559 million. He's worth at least $1.5 billion. And all of the money in his offshore accounts is still being spent. By who? By him. I was told, you guys remember the movie that came on years ago called Face Off with Nicolas Cage and John Travolta, Face Off? That's a CIA NSA program that Jeffrey Epstein is a part of. The Hawks, the Oswalds, the Maxwells, who are also related to the Ray family, who also came out of Eastern Germany in the early 1900s and moved to Memphis, Tennessee. James R. Ray is related to Lee Harvey Oswald, who's related to Robert Maxwell, whose daughter Ghislaine Maxwell is in prison, related to the Hawks, related to the Oswalds, Maxwell's, Rays, who are also related to the Zinranskis, who are called the Sanduskis, related to the Jaffes, the Joffies, out of the Czech Republic and Poland in Lithuania, who also would produce genetically a bloodline called the Kosminskis, whose real name is Sinranskis, and which would produce Aaron Kosminski. Oh my God, who took out five women because he was contracted by the British throne to do it to protect Prince Albert Victor from being exposed. In my conclusion, do you know There was a bloodline out of Hungary going back to the 1500s, the early part of the 1500s, called the Bathory bloodline. Uh-oh, do you guys remember the Bathory bloodline? Here we go, Pastor Sam and Pastor Colleen. The Bathory bloodline was a bloodline of vampires 
who would produce Elizabeth Bathory. Born in Hungary in 1560, but died in Slovakia in 1614, who were later owned slaves in the late 1500s, early 1600s, both in Hungary and Slovakia, and would decapitate male slaves, female slaves, and child slaves, and would gut the stomachs of women who had children and would castrate slaves and had them as a broth in her soup. I gotta be careful. Elizabeth Bathory, the Bathory bloodline related to the bloodline of Atelia the Hun, Vlad the Impaler, Hawks, Oswalds, Maxwells, Rays, related to the Epsteins, the Sidranskys, Sanduskys, who changed their name to Kosminski, who would murder five women to cover up because of the Cleveland Street scandal in 1889. These devils are all related. Yes, Epstein is related genetically to Jack the Ripper or Aaron Kosminski, whose real name is Aaron Sidransky, and the Sidranskys would be changed to Sanduskys that through the centuries would produce one of the most evil men in the history of the American legal system, a man who must receive the death penalty, Jerry Sandusky. In the Bathory bloodline, 15% of the Bathory bloodline, and this is baffling to me, this is this is my this is heavy because. It's all interbreeding. 50% of the Bathory bloodline were married to the LaLaurie bloodline through inbreeding that would produce Delphine LaLaurie, L-A-L-A-U-R-I-E. Who's Delphine LaLaurie? She was a vicious slave owner, a blood countess, just like her genetic relation, Elizabeth Bathory, was a blood countess. Delphine Lolori was a slave owner in New Orleans, Louisiana, born in 1787, and fled the United States when the government of America was after her for crimes against her slaves. And she went to Paris, France, and died in Paris in 1849. Delphine Lolori would cut out the hearts of black men because she hated anything that was black and that was male. This is Delphine Lolori, a blood countess just like her relational killer by the name of Elizabeth Bathory. It doesn't stop there. The Bathories, the Lolores, the Jaffies, the Jaffies, the Sidranskys, the Kosminskys, Jack the Ripper, the Sanduskys, Or related to a German family that they married into, 5% of these Zinranskis are married into a German bloodline called the Dahmers. <laughs> You're not right. Wait a minute, the Dahmers. Oh, I gotta go. Wait a minute now. That 
what produced Jeffrey Dahmer. Wait a minute. So Jeffrey Dahmer's bloodline goes back to the Bathories, the Lolores, going back even further. Attila the Attila the Hunt, the Hunter Games, Genghis Khan, okay, and later Jack the Ripper, the Aaron Kaminsky, the Zinranskis, who came out of the bloodline, listen, of the Jaffies, Jaffies, Epstein, Zinranskis, Sanduskies, along with the Bathories, the Lolores, and the genetical bloodline of Jeffrey Dahmer. They're all related to King Charles, to Prince Harry, and Andrew. You're dealing with the synagogue of Satan. I'm not talking about Jewish people. 99.9% .9 of the Jewish people are absolutely beautiful people. I'm talking 1%. This rotten child's dynasty. Do you all connect it to that P.O. box in the British Virgin Islands? You guys get a chance, uh, go through that series, The Immaculate Deception of the Middle East. A certain, uh, let, let, let me say this in code. The SOI, Pastor Sippy knows what I'm talking about. Pastor Sam and Pastor Colleen knows what I'm talking about. Okay, and Pastor Jody, the SOI. So March, April, May, June, July, August, eight months before the October 7th attacks, which Hamas must be destroyed. It's, it's, it's a war crime. The SOI re-registered as a corporation out of London, not out of Jerusalem, not out of Tel Aviv or Haifa, but out of London. Why? And according to in the international law, you're not supposed to re-register under the same name if your original corporate status has not run out yet, which it did not until three weeks after the October 7th attacks, which was the 31st of October. We're being lied to. And then to cover up for that mess, okay, and one of our pastors, Pastor Colin, uh, Colin out of uh, um, Scotland has a powerful chart of the bishop's teaching on how the SOI changed the corporate status number, okay, from 515 to 517. But they messed up Pastor Colleen and Pastor Sippy because that 5117, okay, um, the last three numbers of their new corporate status number out of London, which the corporate status of the SOI is not in Jerusalem, it's not in Tel Aviv, it's in London, England, at Two Green Palace. Well, who owns that property at Two Green Palace? The House of Windsor. I gotta go. And now that new corporate status number is at a P.O. box in the British Virgin Islands, along with all of the names on the Panama list and all of the names on the Pandora list, whose names are also exposed as the names on the Epstein list that has yet to be exposed. Everyone is involved with pedophilia. Allow the bishop to blow his nose. Please excuse me. Forgive me. I want to ask you one more time. Is your mind blown tonight? I, I, I just... We followed the bloodlines here at Global Spiritual Revolution Media Group. We followed the bloodlines to get to the money, to get to the criminals. In my conclusion, Jeffrey Epstein, a Luciferian project completed. Lithuania, Hungary, Romania, 
Poland, Germany, going back to the Prussian Empire, the Czech Republic, the Hawks, Oswalds, Maxwells, Rays, going back connected to the house of Saxe Goldberg Gotha, the Hanovers, which today is King Charles, Vlad the Impaler, Genghis Khan, Attila the Hun, Jeffrey Epstein, all related by blood. And that is it, two hours, after two hours, 29 minutes and 50 seconds of module three, volume three of Jeffrey Epstein, a Luciferian project completed. And I thank you. <laughs> Listen, was your minds blown tonight? Listen, these bloodlines in the Podestas are in the same bloodline. And what is so sick about this? All of these devils are related. They're all related, ladies and gentlemen. That's that's the thing that has blown my mind. They're all related, including the Wexners, Les Wexner, okay? The Maxwells, the Hawks, the Windsors, Hanovers, Saxe Goldberg Gothard, the Prussian Empire, the German Empire, okay? Even today, to the Epsteins, the Sanduskis, the Sidranskis, out of Poland, Lithuania, in the Czech Republic, it's all a generational system of interbreeding that has produced mass killers, which God is exposing to this day. Thank you so very much for staying up with the bishop. I do apologize, but listen, this is mind blowing information. And all of these sick bloodlines, Barack Obama, I gotta be careful. I don't want us to get a strike or be taken down. They knew what Jerry Sandusky was saying, okay? They knew what Jerry Sandusky was doing. Then the month before it was exposed in March 2011, the month before in February 2011, they left the executive board of the foundation called Two Mile. Okay? Because what the crimes of Jerry Sandusky was going to be exposed. They got off the board. Thank you, Pastor Sam. Thank you, everyone. And one of the Epstein associates, um, to my understanding, was found dead not too long ago. His name was Jean-Luc Brunel. Jean, J-E-A-N, Luke, L-U-C, um, Brunel, B-R-U-N-E-L because he was set to talk to the FBI. Then all of a sudden, he's dead. And all these lies are trying to put President Trump on that. President Trump has never rode on the Lolita Express. That's a lie from the gates of hell. I'm not one of these people that will try to cover up for President Trump. If he's wrong, he's wrong. He's right, he's right. But President Trump, cut himself off from Jeffrey Epstein because he knew the crimes of Epstein he says, I cannot be connected with you. He kept Jeffrey Epstein out, out of his house at Mar-a-Lago, okay? So don't try to pull President Trump. And why is it the Bidens on the list? But guess what? They are with Joe, James, and Hunter, they're on the list, okay? But those names would never be exposed to the American public, okay? Thank you so much, everyone. Listen, and thank you so much for being with the bishop tonight. Again, was your minds blown tonight? Put up those faces, ladies and gentlemen, if your minds were blown this evening. We thank God for every one of you for taking the time out of your busy schedules to be with us on Global Spiritual Revolution Media Group Los Angeles, okay? Listen, if they're trying to destroy President Trump. The FBI had said 
There is no tangible evidence that President Trump was on that plane. Neither did he go into his right on his private jet to St. James Island. So they don't have nothing on President Trump, so they want to stick him on the plane. Stop. All right, all of the moderators, please put up uh, our PayPal link, okay? Please put up the PayPal link right now, and I will put, put it up myself, uh, praise God. And we do apologize for, for, the, for the lateness. I'm telling you, I will not be this late again. Thank you, everyone. Um, for joining um, the man of God, okay? Um, matter of fact, I got to erase that. N never mind with what I put up. I, I typed it in wrong. Uh, right beside Pastor uh, Ellis Ewing's name, right beside Pastor True Witness name, um, paypal.me forward slash GSRR Media Group. And I got to tell you, no one is teaching this on this level. And if they say they are, they're lying. PayPal.me for slash GSRR Media Group. PayPal.me for slash GSRR Media Group. When you give unto the Lord, he'll give you more to give. Good measure, press down, shaking together, running over. Shall men give unto your bosom. God says he'll give you double for your trouble, triple for your pain. PayPal.me for slash GSRR Media Group. Pastor Deborah Watts, are you with us today? I don't think I saw her now. I know it's late on the East Coast. And a lot of you guys have to go to work. Please forgive me. Forgive me, forgive the bishop for being this late. I will not be this late again. All right, thank you. Uh, my mind was blown away as well. Uh, PayPal.me forward slash uh, Pastor Colleen, you got to put double slash, okay? The way that uh, Pastor Queen Sugar has it, has it typed in Pastor Colleen, um, you have to put it in the same way as Pastor Queen Sugar has it, okay? Uh, right beside Pastor Queen Sugar's name, right beside Pastor Ellis Ewing's name, Please, right beside Pastor Sam's name, click on that link. Take this, ladies and gentlemen. You don't need uh, a PayPal account. No one is teaching this, okay? No one is teaching this. And I was told today by one of my contacts out of New York who is working for the big G, and that's all I'm going to say, okay? Um, the senator ounce of South Carolina, uh, not Senator Scott, the African-American senator, but the white senator out of South Carolina. What's his name? Um, you guys let me know his name. He's a war hawk. Okay. I believe he's a senator out of South Carolina. Um, Lindsey Graham, later... <laughs> You say, <laughs> you say Lady Graham. <laughs> okay, Lady Graham, okay? His name is on the list, okay? But that will never be revealed to the public, okay? Uh, Pastor Coley, if you could put double slash uh, after dot com, if you can do that, uh, do that, okay? The same way that True Witness is doing it, Pastor Colleen, if you can do it, the same way that True Witness has typed it in, okay? HTTPS dot dot double slash PayPal dot me slash GSR Media Group. Lady Graham. <laughs> oh, my God. Listen, all of these names, and, and there's more Hollywood names that are coming out too, okay? And listen, there are at least 300 plus names on the list. And those are the names that we do know, that I know, okay? And there could be more, okay? Uh, they Why won't they be exposed? It's, it's because of money. That's a great question, uh, Pastor Janie. The reason why a, a lot of these people will try to buy their way out. Now, a lot of people will say, well, if that's the case, Bishop, why, is, why was Bill Gates exposed, okay? Well, Bill Gates was exposed, okay? Because someone in the deep state doesn't like him, okay? But a lot of these names that we may mention last week and tonight would never be revealed because if they're exposed, okay, their publicists, their agents, their lawyers, their handlers will also be exposed 
And see, and, and people were end up losing millions and billions of dollars. So they were trying to cover this up. But listen, whatever is done in the dark is going to come out in the light. PayPal.me forward slash GSRR Media Group. I'm telling you, you have my permission to share this on throughout social media, Facebook, Instagram, the X or Twitter, TikTok, um, Telegram, BitChute, uh, Gab, the Patriot um, app. Do not amend the teaching or edit it, or you'll be you will definitely be blocked. Okay, so thank you, everyone, and pray for President Trump. The case of him being put back on the ballot in in Colorado, it's before the Supreme Court now. Okay. Let's pray that President Trump will be put back. And is he back on the ballot in Maine? I don't think he is. I think he's um, fighting that case as well. And what I don't understand, why would they want to take his name off of the ballot? And the man has not been tried or convicted because they know their boy Biden is going down. He is not going to rig this election. I got to be careful. You can also send your checks and money orders to uh, Bishop Larry Gators or Larry Gators P.O. Box 161, Lomita, California, 90717. When you're sending your money orders, please only use a post office money order. Uh, our beautiful brother, Cat Williams, he is exposing. Do you guys see the interview he did on Club Shay Shay? Okay. Uh, on Shannon Sharp's podcast, he was exposing everyone, okay? So let's pray for Cat Williams that he's protected. He's a patriot. He loves Christ, okay? His language is rough, but he speaks truth to power, okay? Powerful young man of God, powerful brother, and he's exposing everyone, okay? Well, the whole house of shenanigans is coming down, Okay? And Joe Biden said, we're not going to allow Trump. Okay, you're going to try the rig. Okay, I, I got I to gotta stop. I don't want us to get a strike or be taken down, okay? Listen, watch that interview he did on Club Shay Shay with Shannon Sharp, okay? Exposing everyone, okay? Including little midget Kevin Hart, okay? 37 million views. My staff um, at the iHeart Media Group were trying to get him on my radio show. Pray that that comes to pass, okay? We would love to invite him to come on the radio show, okay? Thank you, everyone, for um, being uh, with the bishop tonight, okay? Thank you for everyone for being with the bishop tonight, and thank you for your prayers tonight, okay? Uh, pray for me tomorrow. I have to go to an event tomorrow. I'm not going to say where. Uh, my, my staff keeps telling me, stop telling your business, Bishop, okay? But I'll see you guys. Listen, um, I will uh, see you guys on, matter of fact, Friday. Now, Friday is our mass deliverance session. Now, if you guys still want to have a Friday, let me know. If not, we can... Reschedule it until the following Friday on the 19th, okay? On the 19th. So I'm contracted to be so many places. And since the writers and the actor strikes, strikes are over with, uh, I am so busy now. But our global master class is first, okay? So as of now, pencil in this Friday, I believe it was at this Friday the 12th. Uh, for our mass delivery. How many of you learned so much? Thank you, me, myself. I learned so much from your live show. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, man of God. I really appreciate that, man, man of God. That really means a lot, you know. And um, and people, you know, this is not easy, Pastor Kelly. Uh, this is research. And my team of researchers here in Los Angeles we got a small staff here in L.A. of 12 people. Sometimes smaller is better. And the staff in uh, New York of 27, they set up all my speaking engagements. I'm on some podcast or radio show 
every other day, besides our global master classes on Tuesdays and Thursdays, besides what I'm contracted to do for the iHeart Media Group and with my publicist, it is a busy time, okay? But broke back. <laughs> That's right, Pastor Rick. Best teacher ever, or P Pastor Ivan. I really appreciate that. Um, at the end of the day, I'm only a servant. And my greatest joy, and I got to tell you, my greatest joy is being a servant of my Savior, my best friend, my father, Yeshua Hamashiach, Yeshua the Christ. Thank you, Pastor Kelly. Oh, my publicist is sharp. Oh, Pastor Kelly, you hit that right on. Oh, my God. You know, one of our, uh, my staff members had said that, okay, uh, in a uh, Zoom call meeting on uh, yesterday afternoon. I had to cover, oh, my God, I had to cover a post-Golden Globe event. And then the next day, I had to go back downtown to cover the Astro Awards. I met a lot of A-listers. You see, this is my mantle. And but you so right, Pastor Kelly. Oh my, uh, Pastor, you are one billion percent right. And I've got the best publicist in Hollywood, and she has me on at the right time, at the right locations. Okay. Because it's not God's perfect will for me to go to every red carpet, only where the Lord is leading me to go. Thank you, everyone, for being with the bishop tonight. Thank you so much, okay? And uh, I'm going to get some rest. Pastor Colleen, thank you. I love you, Pastor Colleen. Thank you. And what is so mind-blowing is about that New York City raid, okay, uh, in New York City, okay? So please... Pray for everyone involved in the NYPD. It's on a video. Am I right, Ali Semendetto? That the NYPD raided this particular building, okay, in Brooklyn. I'm not going to say where. I got to use wisdom. And found tunnels with mattresses and high chairs. Do you know where the origin of the term high chair came from? It has nothing to do with the chair having a baby sitting on the high chair eating his or her food. Food. The term high chair goes back to Nimrod, where Nimrod was sent out a decree every December 25th to have children put up before Baal, Astaroth, and Molech from which we get the term molecular, put them on high chairs to present them before Baal, Astaroth, and Molech. That's the origin of the term high chair. You see, I deal with origins, the originations. Sisters, do you remember, uh, you guys remember uh, the origins of the boots that women wear, the boots that go above their knees. The origin of that goes back 2,000 years to a female secret society called the Pythoness. P-Y-T-H-O-N-E-S-S, from which, from which we get the term Python. There you go, over the knee boots. Thank you, Pastor Colleen. I thank God for Pastor Coley and Pastor Sam for you guys. Without you guys, oh, my God, I wouldn't be here tonight. I would be lost. So Rick James boots. <laughs> so those boots were connected to a female rich secret society during the time of the apostles and during the time of St. Paul, the apostle, uh, Pastor Grace, where women okay, served as prostitutes and who wore the boots above their knees signifying how many men that they took out that day. Anytime that these women were murder a man, okay, after she would seduce him, she would put on these boots, okay? So 
those boots are go back to divination to women who were witches. Okay. And I got to say this too in Acts 16 16. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Paul was grieved because there was a woman at Ephesus who practiced divination. Remember divination? Now look at the first four letters, diva, and this is where you get the term divination or divination. So women, stop calling yourself, I'm a diva. Listen, now I'm saying it because I've already prayed over it. So, so the, the acronym for divination, like romancy or necromancy, okay, is the term divination, divination. Okay, and those women who were diviners or witches wore those boots above their knees, and those boots continue throughout the transatlantic slave trade during slavery. And we're done here tonight in the Americas. The slave master used to wear had those boots to warm the legs of the horses. So if the slave master would take those boots from the front two legs of the horses, that meant he was going to rape a female slave that night. If the back two legs of the horses had those boots and the slave master took them off, those boots from the back two legs of the horses, that meant the female slave was to be raped from behind. So why are women wearing those boots? Boots today that go back not just to the Pythonist secret society, it's because of ignorance, Pastor Rick, but also connected to raping on the slave plantation. Well, look at the term baggy for baggaging. They came up from the, uh, the state prison in Peoria, Illinois, in the early 1970s. When you type in the word baggy, and type it backwards from right to left, right? Oh, my God. Write it. Now, look, look at the term sagging. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And I'm done here today. The term sagging, S-A-G-G-I-N. Type it backwards or write it from right to left because Hebrew is written from right to left. You get the demonic psyop of N-I-G-G-A-S. Oh, pray for me, me, myself. Pray for me, man. Wait a minute. So the term sagging, S-A-G-G-I-N, backwards, is the principality that just, that's destroying Black America in the Black diaspora, N-I-G-G-A-S. Okay, it's time for me. It's time for me to go. Thank you, Pastor Colleen. And if you add the letter G at the end of sagging and write that backwards, rabbinically from right to left, you get the term G, the N-I-G-G-A-S. Sorry, G unit. I got to go. You see, it is a demonic psyop. Okay? Woo! I'm telling you. And uh, we're, we're, listen, finally, these books are going to be republished. And that's my cue to go. Thank you, Pastor um, Colleen. Listen, uh, all the masterclass notebooks will be republished very soon. And all these books, praise God, uh, will be given to you for free. Why? Because you support us financially and we're going to support you guys. Absolutely. And if you have not supported us, we still love you. And we're going to still send these books to you. Okay. Uh, Comprehended the State of the Human Condition, Parts 1 two, three, and four, okay? Four volume set, plus there is a calendar, Transform Your Thinking in 28 Days, okay? And also the Masterclass Notebook will be also be republished and given to you guys free, and we will announce that, okay, on Friday. Thank you so much. Right beside Queen Sugar's name, I'm losing my voice, okay? There you go, Pastor Kenny. You see that, right? It, it's the name of a demon. PayPal.me forward slash GSRR Mina Group. 
I'm on the letter M. Now, Pastor Simon, I'm, I'm, I'm on the letter M like a Mary, on M like a man. Well, Bishop, you, you're taking too long. It's been three. Do you know how many words that have been cursed? There's so many words that have to be reborn, okay? So it's going to take, I'm not going to put a time period on it, but it's going to take a long time. There you go, Pastor Kenny West, okay? That's the, the, the demonic side. Good night. Thank you, Pastor Colleen. I thank God for Pastor Colleen. You guys tell her like it is. You guys are my sons and daughters in Christ. Thank you so much. This is it. Jeffrey Epstein, a Luciferian project completed. And I thank you, Pat. Thank you, me, myself. Thank you, man of God. Good night. And um, unless something changes, we will see you guys on Friday. And if you guys never been a part of a mass deliverance session, great job, team. Thank you, Pastor Kelly. They, they've done a great job. Thank you so much. And um, any series that you guys want Bishop to teach, let me know, okay? Let me know. I still been getting a lot of offers or suggestions to teach about the child, uh, the Atlanta child murders, right? And that Wayne Williams, Wayne Williams was set up. And uh, yeah, we'll go through the Divine Nine again, Pastor Kobe. The Pan-Hellenic Greek Divine Nine. Good night from Los Angeles. My voice is almost gone. God willing, I'll see you guys on Friday unless something changes. But uh, you guys rest up tomorrow, Wednesday. Rest up Thursday. And we see you guys Friday for our mass deliverance session. Okay. No, we should not be going by the Julian count. And technically, Pastor Rick, the apostolics, we, we are not to live by a calendar. But we're in the world, but not of the world. Los Angeles is in the house. Woo, Pastor Kelly. So, yeah, let me drink some tea. I got to go, everyone. Thank you uh, for being with the bishop. Pray for me. Um, and I will be on two podcasts during the day tomorrow, okay? Uh, one po podcast uh, out of Colombia in South America. Um, actually, it's an apostolic uh, small radio show that's in English, right, out of Colombia. And then also after that, I'll be on a podcast out of Seattle, Washington. I'm on some radio show or podcast every other day, okay? whether it's Uganda, Nigeria, South Korea, Moscow, Russia, all over the world. Good night. I got to go. Go through this teaching again. Share it. I'll see you guys on Friday. Jeffrey Epstein, a Luciferian project completed, and I thank you. The bishop is in love with every one of you. Thank you so much. Don't think it's strange when I say I'm in love with you. It means I love you as Christ loves every one of you, okay? The tunnel that was found, yes, uh, LJ, I'm telling you. And uh, uh, listen, it was found, it's on a video. Um, I'm not going to say the term O or J, okay? But LJ, uh, listen, uh, you, you're right, LJ, but listen, we have to be, LJ, it's... Um, there's the link, Pastor Simon. Thank you, Pastor Simon, um, that you guys can check out of that live raid in Brooklyn, okay? Love you too, Pastor Roderick Thompson. Thank you. And let's pray that all the tunnels are exposed, not just here in Los Angeles and New York City, but all over the world. Thank Bishop for another deep teaching. Thank you, Pastor Dave. Love you, man of God. I'll talk to you soon, Pastor Dave. Good night from Los Angeles. That is it. Thank you, Pastor Sam and Pastor Colleen. I'll see you guys on Friday for our mass deliverance session. Good night from Los Angeles. Remember, the bishop loves you. Check out Peter Nygaard's plane as well, Pastor Kobe, okay? The flag of Regina, that star that's on 
a part of the Paid Hellenic Council's website that's on the cover, the front of the CI logo that's on the cover of the book, Eaters of Children, Pedagrazzi on Amazon Books, that's on the jet floor of Peter Nygaard's plane. Listen, heavy. I'll see you guys on Friday. Greetings from Europe. God bless you, Pastor Simon, Pastor Sylvia. Love you, my son and daughter in Europe. Hope to get over there in some time, hopefully uh, in the spring before we launch our TV show. Good night from Los Angeles. I'll see you guys on Friday. Keep the bishop in your prayers. Hold me up in your daily prayers because I'm on the front line. Thank you. We are changing Hollywood with the greatest apostolic revolution that this world in that Hollywood has ever seen. Thank you. God bless you in Christ's holy name. I'll see you Friday.